Hey everyone, this is John, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at a feature in Power BI that allows us to manually enter data into the data model. So this is a feature that you might want to use for supplementary data tables in your data model. So for example, I've got uh, this data in an Excel spreadsheet, and it's just a list of two digits state codes along with the full state name. So this is a small set of data and it's not going to be changing and I don't want to store this somewhere and connect to it in Power BI. I just want the small set of data inside my Power BI model. So back over in Power BI, how I can enter that data into my Power BI model is in the Home tab. There's a command here, Enter Data. If I click on that, that's going to open up this Create Table menu. And here I can manually type in data if I want to, but I can also go back to my Excel spreadsheet and just copy and paste the data. So I'm going to copy everything, including the headers there. And if I come back here and select this and press Control V to paste, that's going to paste in the data. And notice that it created two columns for me because I had two columns of data. And it also promoted the column headers that I had copied into the proper column headers there. Now in this uh, data preview, we can resize things to uh, view the data if we can't see it all. And we can also add new columns here or delete columns or insert rows if we want to and delete them. And the other thing that we need to do is name this. So we can just give it a quick name. And once we've got it named, we can either uh, edit this. So go into the Power Query editor and further transform this table. Or if we're happy with it as is, we can just load this into the data model. So I'm going to click load there and load it into our Power BI data model. And now if we take a look at our different views in Power BI, we can see this data and it's been loaded into the data model. And now if we do need to change something in this data, how we can do that is by editing a query. So this is actually stored as a query. And if we go and edit our queries, it's going to open up the Power Query Editor. And we just need to select that uh, table. And if we go over to our Applied Steps and click on the Settings here, then that's going to open up our Create Table with our data in it. And we can come here and do any edits we need to do. So we could maybe add a new row. And maybe we want, we want uh, Unknown. as an option here and we can press OK and we see it down there and then we can close and apply that change to our query and there we go so we have our unknown state now in our data model so that's the enter data feature in Power Query this is something you want to use if you have a small set of data that's not going to be changing, so you don't need to update it uh, each month or anything like that. And you also don't want to store this data outside of Power BI in some sort of spreadsheet or text file and connect to it that way. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future videos. That's it for this video. See you guys next time.